in nature, trees will drop their seeds on the ground and an entire generation of new trees will begin. As those seedlings start to grow, each and every one of them is competing for the same light. And the stronger seeds will shade out the weaker seeds. And eventually, these trees, the strongest of the trees, will have nice, long, straight trunks high in the, high in the air, and then you'll see the canopy. So an example would be walking through an aspen grove. You'll see big white trunks, sometimes 30 feet tall, and then all the canopies will just be intermingled together, and all those trees are collecting that same sunlight. With fruit trees, if we let them go as natural trees, they will be very similar. We'll have these big tall trees, no fruiting growth, fruiting spurs uh, where we can access the fruit. And so rather than letting a fruit tree do what it naturally wants to do, we manipulate its shape and form in order to maximize fruit production at a, at a height that is manageable, where we can easily spray, we can easily harvest and prune a tree like this. And so there are several different ways to manipulate fruit trees. We have some that are open center. There are some that are a central leader. And then we have what's called a modified central leader. And this is a prime example of a apple tree that has a modified central leader. And what that means is the tree has a, a nice sturdy trunk that's straight. About two feet up from the ground, I have some good sturdy scaffold branches and usually we want to go with about three to five scaffold branches at about a two to three foot height from the ground and then we have a space uh, about three feet in between these lower scaffold branches and the upper scaffold upper scaffold branches and again on that second layer we have three to five scaffold branches and then the leader has been removed. So it's kind of like we have a small cent small open center tree on the top, and then we have this lower open center tree on the bottom, and the cent and the leader has been removed in the middle, but it, it's been left to remain in between the two layers. Uh, in this tree, we have two different layers of scaffold branches. We could do a third one but we want to just manage this tree at about an eight foot tall, 10 foot wide size, um, because that's probably going to get us the maximum amount of fruit with the, the least amount of energy. And so uh, we do want to work with nature, but with fruit trees, we are going to manipulate them in such a way that makes our job easier in the long run. And it maximizes the fruit production uh, so that we, uh, don't have to climb tall ladders and climb tall trees to harvest apples.